All right. So we're going to go a double jab. So we're going to go jab, jab, and then two jacks. Jack, jack. Then we're going to throw cross, cross. Everything's with a little bit of a jump, right? Then two jacks again. Then two squats. One, two. Walk it out. Two push-ups. Two floor jacks. All right. So basically lots of jacks. So double jab, double punch one side, double jumping jack. Uh, double punch the other side. All right. Double jumping jack. All right. Double squat, double push up, double floor jack. And again, the floor jack is jumping your feet apart and together on the ground. All right. So I'm just going to keep saying that over and over. You guys just do that. Let's do that for a couple of minutes. All right. So double jab, double jack, uh, jumping jack, double cross, double jumping jack, double squat. And then from that, well, after that squat, walk it out, double push up, double floor jack. And floor jack is jumping your feet apart and together. All right, so it's jab, jab, jack, jack, cross, cross, jack, jack, squat, squat, walk it out, push up, push up, floor jack, floor jack. And then you're back on your feet. Jab, jab, jumping jack, jumping jack, cross, cross. Jumping jack, jumping jack, squat, squat, walk it out, push up, push up, floor jack, floor jack. I'll do it one more time with you guys. I'm gonna turn my, I got my heart rate monitor on under my shirt, so I wanna make sure that's that's getting. So uh, jab, uh, jab, jab, jack, jack, cross, cross, jack, jack, squat, squat, walk it out, push up, push up, floor jack, floor jack. All right, let's get that going. Let you guys go for another another minute and a half, all right? Should get your heart rate going, should warm up basically all of your muscles. All right, I can feel my heart rate going already. And I just did a few uh, few reps of it with you guys. All right, let's see, I got my, oh, we'll see, my polar heart, heartbeat monitor. All right, let's see, what are we doing today? We'll say it's boxing, even though it's really shadow boxing, but Close enough. And we'll see what my heart rate's like throughout this workout, even just teaching. Boxing, my GPS, and we're gonna start. All right, good, now I'm being tracked. Good, last minute, let's go, last minute. And again, right now, you know, whenever, whenever we have these warm-ups, all I'm looking for you guys to do is really warm up those muscles. So you can keep the movements, they don't have to be super uh, aggressive, they don't have to be crazy. I just wanna see you guys uh, yeah, moving as much as you can and building, uh, you know, bringing some, obviously some blood flow, some circulation to those muscles. All right. 45 seconds from here, 44, 43, 42, 41, 40, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30. Keep coming, keep coming. Jab, jab, jack, jack, cross, cross, jack, jack, squat, squat, push up, push up, floor jack, floor jack. All right. Jesse, I was going to say, where's Misa today? But now I know she's downstairs, so I'm going to have to get on a case. Let's go. Good. 20 seconds, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Good. Amy's on the side. She's looking good. 6, 5, 4, 3. Just bounce on your toes in 2 and 1. Just like I'm doing. Just on the balls of your feet. Just shake out your arms a little bit. You can shake side to side. Let's let it here. Another 15 seconds. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Break your arms up a little bit. Just shake them side to side. Kind of like this. Good. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. A little bit of a different uh, uh, stretch out today, a little bit more of a dynamic stretch. So if you can get some space, take your right leg, just swing it forward and back. All right. Boom, forward and back, just like that. All right, other side, same thing. All right. All right, now you're going to go across your body, right leg, forward and back. Try to bring it out to the side. If you have to hold on to something, hold on. Otherwise, just use your arms. All right. Same thing on the side. Good. Big circles back with the arms. 
big circles forward. Good. Uh, no, cross your body, forward and back. Good. Now you're going to touch your toes and then reach back. Don't do it too fast. So you don't want to give yourself a head rush. Just reach and reach. Reach and reach. Reach and reach. Three, two, one. Now you're going to make big circles. So you're going to go all the way around and down and then back the other way. And then on your next one, once you get to the ground, just hang out down there. Let that lower back stretch. Keep the legs straight. And then bend those legs. Sit that butt down a little bit. Try to get a little bit lower. Good. Slowly come up. Last thing, hands on your hips. Head rotations either direction. For five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna go into drills today, all right? So it's gonna be a little bit, a uh, little bit less long combinations. Again, you know, I always have a lot of movements in, either, you know, <laughs> in everything we do, but the idea is more to do similar to what we did in the warm up, which is why we did that solid warm up, is to kind of keep you guys just moving and get your heart rate up a little bit more than than maybe normal. All right, so always technique is important, always a focus, but a little bit less of focus of today. I just want to see you guys move a lot, get a high volume. All right, so uh, first combination of the first, let's say a drill is going to be using the uh, front side of your body mostly, and then we're going to do a single handed uh, squat thrust. All right, so it's going to be a jab, hook, uppercut, all with that front hand. Back hand stays by your face. Jab, hook, lead uppercut, then you're going to put that hand down. Try to jump out to both feet. Squat thrust. Now, you're going to squat down. You're going to thrust out. You're not going into a sprawl. Sprawl will have your hips on the ground, right? I just want you to do this push-up position, come back, and then up. All right? So it's jab, hook, uppercut, squat down, place the hand, uh, uh, thrust out, come back, and stand. You're just going to keep that up. Now, once you do that, you're going to do that five times. Once you do that five times in a row, I want you on the ground. You're going to give me 20 bicycle crunches. All right? So it's jab, hook. Upper squat thrust five times in a row. After five times, 20 uh, bicycle crunches. Get on your back, give me 20 bicycle crunches, and then start at the beginning again. Right back to it. Five and 20. Five and 20. Does it make sense? Give me a thumbs up if we're good. Is that cool? All right, let's go. All right, and we're going to do that for two minutes, maybe two and change. All right, you got my timer here. And again, make sure you breathe in all the way through. You don't have to rush. I'm not looking for you guys to rush through these, obviously. Uh, never am looking for you guys to rush through any of these, uh, any of these movements. Uh, but what I want is, I, I do want hustle. I do want some, uh, you know, some, some pep in your step, so to speak. But, uh, but more than anything, I want, uh, you know, always good form and control in the movement. It's really about staying consistent and staying fluid, all right? I'd rather you kind of do as many as you can in this uh, two and chain, two and a half minutes or so that we're going to do and do them properly. And again, you know, give your body a chance. If you have to pause in some of these movements, specifically when you get down, you do that one-handed squat thrust. Uh, if you can pause in that position for a second and allow your muscles to kind of, uh, you know, get a little bit of a burn in that, in, uh, and, and work on the stabilization that they have in your shoulder and the, even your, uh, in your core, it's gonna, be, it's gonna be better for you. It's gonna give your brain a second to understand that this is the type of movement you're asking it to do. And it's gonna uh, let a little bit more burn, a little bit more fire happen. Uh, in those uh, stabilization muscles in your shoulder and in your core. All right. So again, it's jab. Make sure that backhand stays up by your face. Jab, lead hook, lead uppercut. Notice my front, my hand comes back to my face every time. This one's protected, but I throw the jab, I come back. I throw the hook, I come back. I throw that lead uppercut, I come back. I squat down, place, squat thrust, come, and back up. Five times, 20 bicycle crunches. Five times, 20 bicycle crunches. Five times, 20 bicycle crunches. This is how we're gonna keep the stomach working the whole time through. I keep the, uh, since we're burning so much energy kind of going up and down, I'm keeping the uh, stomach work uh, straight forward, but volume is that a word? We'll see, but high volume uh, throughout. We have uh, four of these, four of these uh, uh, drills that we're gonna do. And you're gonna be doing bicycle crunches in between. You got uh, 30 seconds left, all right? Keep it up. And then uh, at the end, we'll do some specific uh, kind of side planks and stuff to work that stomach, all right? 
Let's keep those hands up. Let's keep that chin down. Good. Nice, Andy. Beautiful form. Very good. I like that uppercut. Comes right up the middle. Jab, hook, upper. Nice. Right on, Des. Right on. Good. You too, Jess. Everybody's looking good. Amy's killing it on the side here too. Boom, boom. Good. Nice. And control. Control is the name of the game. Eight seconds left. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And just shadow box. 30 seconds. Punches, kicks, knees, elbows. Just shake it out. Shadow box in 30 seconds. Shake it out. Good. Breathe, breathe. Your heart rate should be, you know, relatively elevated at this point because going down and up into those one-handed uh, one -handed squat thrusts isn't easy. So keep it going. 20 seconds. This is just a chance for you to kind of keep it moving. Keep that, uh, that the volume of your movement uh, high with, uh, while still staying composed, while still staying controlled. All right. 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and time. Good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now we're going to repeat that exact same thing, but on the other side of the body. All right. So, and <laughs> there goes, there goes Giuseppe hanging out on the side. So he doesn't get in the middle of this workout. All right. So we're going to go cross hook up a cut. Same thing. We're going to squat down now with that backhand squat down one handed uh, thrust and then back up. So again, same pattern, just using the, the uh, back side of the body with that, that rear hand. All right. Cross hook up a cut. Squat down, thrust out, come right back up five times in a row, and then follow that by 20 bicycle crunches. All right, we're gonna do that. Well, we did about three minutes on that at one side, so we're gonna do three minutes again on this side. All right, let's get it going. Cross, hook, uppercut, squat down, thrust, come back up. Remember, only using the one hand. Before we're using the front hand, now we're using the back hand. All right, cross, hook, uppercut, squat down, thrust out, come back up five times in a row, follow it by that uh, 20, se uh, 20 sets, or those 20 bicycle crunches, right back to feet, do it again. Three minutes total, all right? Good, and again, if you need to take a break in between, as with any one of our exercises, any one of, uh, one of our workouts, take the breaks when necessary. You guys keep moving. I'm gonna go get my little boy over here. He is not happy. About being manhandled, but sorry, you gotta. Hey, hey, you stay over here. Keep going. Don't. I'm not talking to you guys. I'm talking to my cats. Don't worry. Giuseppe, you understand? Yeah. Shot to you too. Good. Keep it up. Keep it up. Closing in on the first minute. You're gonna have a couple minutes left to go. And again, these are really about staying just a high volume. I know sometimes it's tough because things feel like they get monotonous. Uh, and I'm always conscious of trying to keep you guys, you know, engaged and entertained with different things, but it's good to kind of focus on, you know, only a few movements sometimes and then just hustle, 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 you know, we're doing, uh, you know, mental conditioning. We're doing obviously uh, body, uh, body weight and, and striking conditioning, but the approach is similar to the same thing as if we were jumping rope or running or, or rowing, doing some kind of, uh, you know, longer term cardiovascular activity. So I try to keep the movements down. So you don't have to think so much about the movements. You know, I've, it, it should be self, uh, subconscious, you know, you being able to throw these basic strikes at this point. But I want you guys really focusing on just the volume of the movement, on the consistency and, and the uh, being continuous with these movements. Punch, 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 uh, uh, squat thrust, punch, 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 squat thrust. All right. Closing it on the last minute now. Closing it on the last minute. All right. Keep it going. Throwing that cross. Throwing that hook, throwing that uppercut, squat down. Give me that one-handed squat thrust. Good. Amy's looking good. Jess is looking good. Got a little bounce in that step. Looking awesome. 45 seconds. How we doing, Andy? Thumbs up. We good? All right. Awesome. Keep it up, man. Let's go. Let's go. Good. Going 30 seconds from here. 30 seconds. Let's see what you guys have. 29, 28, 27. 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and 5 seconds. You're going to get on your feet again. And you're going to go into a 
a little bit of a more of an advanced, little uh, faster pace uh, shadow box in, in three, two, and one. Let's go. Shadow box, 30 seconds. Just kind of shake out the end of this round. Boom. Try to keep the volume of your movement up. Try to keep the volume of your movement up. Good. Breathe and move around. Nice. Good, Amy. Good, Andy. Ari, you're looking great. Doing a great job over there. Let's go. 15 seconds from here. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5 seconds. We're going to get down to a plank position in 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. From plank position, I want a double knee on the other side. All right? I want knee, 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 knee. 30 seconds just like that, all right? So from plank position, you're holding that plank right down, that's elbows down, and you're just gonna pump that knee to your tricep, right? It's gonna be more to the outside, 30 seconds, gonna be in between, all right? So I'll demonstrate quickly, even though I know you guys know what I'm talking about, but one, two, one, two, just like that. All right, make sure you're breathing. Notice, I breathe everything I do. When I'm moving, sometimes it, you know, it just becomes a habit. Sometimes it's a little bit of a telegraph on my part. I know that I do it a little bit too much maybe, but it's better to breathe than not to breathe. All right? Getting that habit. Let's go 20 seconds from here. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three, two, one, and time. Good. Let's get 10 burpees and we'll go into our next set. All right. 10 burpees on your own, up and down. Get, get them all the way. Again, we're going for high volume today. All right. 10 burpees. When you're done, just shadow box. Show me you're ready. All right. And then we got uh, other two drills to go through. All right. Good. Once you're done, you're in shot, you're shadow boxing, just so I know that you're finished. Looking good, looking good. Once you're done, shadow boxing, so I know you're done. Remember, when you're shadow boxing, keep that chin down, keep those elbows in, keep those feet wider than your shoulders, keep those knees bent. Just move around, keep that body weight balanced. Again, even if you're catching your breath, even if you're not throwing a lot of strikes. You just stay in your position and move around, all right? Move around. All right, good. Work on your footwork. Sometimes this is how we catch our breath, right? We bring it down, right? We don't throw a lot of strikes. We just stay moving, but stay in our defense the whole time, all right? 10 seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. So now we're going to throw a double uppercut. Double hook, going to everything's double. Double uppercut, double hook, double jump squat, double push up. All right, so we're going back a little bit to what we did in the beginning uh, when we did our warm up. All right, so it's going to be just like this. I don't care which hand you start with, front or back, but just give me two of each. Right, uppercut, uppercut, hook, hook. What I do want to see though is a little bit of fluidity. All right, try to move from these punches quickly. One, uh, one right into the next. One, two, three, four. Notice my shoulders are basically doing this the whole time. So I want your shoulders and your hips to move. All right, so I'm facing forward, upper, upper, hook, hook, jump squat, jump squat, come down on that second one, thrust out into that push-up position, push-up, and push-up. All right, so if I'm doing this from an angle so you guys can see better, upper, upper, hook, hook, jump squat, jump squat, down, push-up, push-up, right back, and over and over. Again, I did that twice through, and I'm already feeling it, but we're going to do just like we did before, five times through that and then 20 bicycle crunches, all right? Three minute round, let's see what you guys got. All right, upper, upper, hook, hook, jump squat, jump squat, push up, push up, five times in a row, and then giving me 20 bicycle crunches, starting right back to the beginning. Take the breaks when you need them, drink the water when you need to, I got mine right over here, all right, so. I'm taking care of myself. I'm not even doing the workout, but I'm making sure I'm staying hydrated. You guys should be doing the same.
representing all my plant-based peoples today with my vegan shirt. I used to have a t-shirt company, Pure Apparel, where I made a lot of overtly plant-based uh, <laughs> lifestyle t-shirts. I couldn't stand seeing another shirt that said bacon, eggs, cheese, something or whatever, like all that, all, all these kind of like big type based shirts, you know? So I was like, I'm going to make my own because why not? Here I am repping it. Closing in on the first minute. All right. We got about two to go. I know I'd said about two, two and change at the beginning. But you guys were looking good. You were able to go through it for a full three minutes and that's a typical boxing round. So we're going to keep these rounds to so three minute rounds. All right. You guys stick with it. You're already 20 seconds into the second round. So keep it up, 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 a hook, hook, jump, squat, jump, squat, push up, push up. Doesn't look like Ari's having as much fun as the rest of us, but Dez is taking it like a champ. Good. Let's go. Remember to breathe. Remember to breathe, especially now. We're using a lot of explosive power in those jump squats and in those push ups. So throw through those punches, use those as a chance to stay light and kind of run through those punches uh, loosely, but, uh, but aggressively. And then give me those jump squats, give me those push ups. And then again, after five uh, rep, uh, reps of that, that little sequence, you give me 20 bicycle crunches. All right, closing in on the last minute now, gang. Last minute, you got 50 seconds left, 50 seconds left. Upper, upper, hook, hook, jump squat, jump squat, push up, push up, right back to the beginning. All right, and like we did before, once we're done with this, you got about uh, 30 seconds left. Once we're done with this, you're gonna give me another 30 seconds of shadow boxing. All right, nice, good work, Amy, keep it up. Amy, try to drop your butt a little bit when you give me those push-ups. All right. Nice. Good height, uh, Jess. Very good. Very little correcting I'm having to, uh, having to do today. That's good. I know I'm, I know the movements are, are simple, right? So I'm not, I'm not patronizing you guys, uh, but, uh, but very little I'm having to do in the way of saying, hey, pick your hands up or get lower. You guys are, you guys are doing that very well on your own, own. So hats off to you. Let's go to the last 10 seconds here. All right. 10, 9. Eight, seven, six, five seconds. You're going into some shadow box in 30 seconds. A little more aggressive than the last two rounds, starting in three, two, and one. Let's shadow box. Let's get it. Try to keep moving. Again, I know we don't have a lot of space, some of us, all right, but just stay moving. You don't need a lot of space to throw straight punches and straight kicks, slipping, dipping, rolling, all right? Use a little bit of everything, all right? Let's use it. 25, 24, 23, 22, 21. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and time. Good. Last, uh, last one of these uh, drills that we're going to do, all right? It's going to be a knee and a kick on both sides and then a double burpee. So we're really, really turn it up for this last, uh, last, uh, last set here, all right? Then we're gonna go into some stomach work and some, uh, some freestyles with the tempo at the end, but I'll, I'll explain that after. So again, you're gonna go knee and a straight kick on either leg. I don't care which one you start with, it could be knee. Actually, let me, let me be more specific. Let's start with the back leg, all right? So you're gonna throw the knee, boom. And actually, I might've demonstrate that, but I wanna make sure if you guys aren't already doing it, I want to make sure you guys focus on getting up on the ball of your foot when you throw these knees. All right. So you sometimes my feet are off camera, so you can't actually see it. But when we throw these knees, move in a little bit closer. Watch I get on the ball of my foot. Knee. See how I'm not keeping my flat, my foot flat. I'm coming up to the ball of my foot a little bit. Make sure that you can have some balance in that uh, in that leg. We're gonna go into a little drill for that after again to build up those calves. But from here, knee, bring it back, straight kick. Then I switch. Knee. Bring it back, straight kick. Then I'm gonna do two burpees. One, two. I'm gonna make a point about that as well. When we do burpees, there's two ways we can do it. The, the, main, the main thing is that you get your body all the way to the ground. You can either do that, uh, do that by doing a, a very controlled push up, or just get your whole body to the ground, get your whole body up. So if you notice, I do it that kind of second way. I jump, I come down, I bring my whole body to the ground, and then I bring my whole body up. When you do it that way, you actually use a little bit more of your, your back muscles. You can switch it up. You can do some, you know, some just down and up, or you can do some where you do the push up and come up. Either way is gonna work. You pick and choose, but know that there are two, you know, acceptable ways in my book 
of doing it. One's going to work your chest a little bit more. One's going to work a little bit more of your back. All right. So again, it's knee kick, knee kick, both sides of the body, double burpee. We're going to do that for three minutes. All right. So one more time, knee, kick, knee, kick, burpee, burpee. All right. Let's go. Three minutes. All the way up. Let's go. Just going to hang out here with Giuseppe while you guys work. Good. Already 15 seconds in. Knee, straight kick. Nice, Jessica. Knee, straight kick. Good. Got to watch out, Ari. Mom's got some good kicks. You don't want to get in the way of them. Let's go. Andy, I am supremely impressed at how you're able to keep those glasses on while jumping up and down the whole time. That is, that must be years of practice. I'll tell you. Good stuff. 45 seconds in, gang. 45 seconds in. We got a minute, uh, um, uh, 215 to go. 215 to go. All right. Again, this is the denser round, a little bit of a denser round, right? We're doing all these burpees. But that's why we're throwing a lot of kicks. We did a lot of punches before. Now I kind of really want to focus on that lower body. So using your arms, obviously, when you're doing these burpees. But I really want those kicks to get, get some, uh, some work. And I want those legs to get some work. In. And again, if you do this right, you'll feel this a lot in the groin muscles, the inguinal muscles over here, the, the psoas, the hips. All right, because you're really driving those hips forward. And every time you get on the ball that foot and drive those hips forward, you have to use your stomach. And you have to use the tops of those legs to kind of hold you in place, right? Boom. All right. Let's go, let's go. About a minute and a half, to, uh, minute and a half through now, a minute, almost 45. All right, let's go. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Come on, pick it up for us. We're almost at the end of, uh, almost at the end of the workout, almost. Uh, we're about half, we're about two thirds of the way through. Let me not get ahead of us, let me not get ahead of us. All right, I wanna give you guys hope, but I don't wanna sell you guys short and I don't wanna, uh, you know, be disingenuous, all right? Coming in on the last minute now, all right? We're coming in on the last minute. All right, knee, kick, knee, kick, double burpee. Knee, kick, knee, kick, and then burpee, burpee. Knee, kick, knee, kick, double burpee. There you go, Amy, very good. All the way up, all the way down. Good, I'm counting down the last 30 seconds for you guys, all right? Good, just drink that water, especially outside. Might be a little bit colder, might be a little bit drier. It's gonna soak up that, uh, it's gonna soak up that, um, what's it called? Your hydration, your sweat, it's gonna make you more dehydrated more quickly. All right, so do what you can to stay hydrated. Drinking water, whatever you gotta do. Let's go. 15 seconds, I'm counting from here, right? 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Nice work, Des. Perfect push-ups every time. Looks great. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Again, going to a 30-second, more aggressive shadow boxing. We're most aggressive of uh, all four rounds, starting right here in 3, 2, 1. All right, let's move. <laughs> you can throw those punches back in there. All right, throw some kicks. Throw some knees. Throw some knees down the middle. Throw some knees around the side. All right, boom. Throw some shots to the body, some shots to the head. Then we throw shots to the body, we drop our level. Jabs, jabs, crosses, uppercuts to the body, uppercuts to the face, body shots, front arm, back arm, straight kicks up the middle, push kicks to the stomach, straight kicks to the front, kicks to the face, throw that roundhouse, check a little bit, let's go, 15 seconds, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5 seconds, we're going to bounce on those toes again. In five, four, three, two, one. Just shake it out right here. Try your best to just use your feet. Just use your calves. All right, notice my knees aren't really bending. They have a slight bend in them holding position, but I'm really just using my calves here. My calves and my Achilles, all right? Both feet at the same time, almost like you're jumping rope, all right? But I want you to keep your arms relaxed at your sides. All right, now start shuffling the feet like this. Forward and back, 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, stay loose, stay loose, 7, 6, 5, 
four, you're gonna start crossing your legs in three, two, and one, just like that. Boom. Keep it up. 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. A little faster now. 5, 4, 3, 2, and time. Breathe. Very good. Very good. So a little bit of that, again, is just to build that stability in those ankles and, in, uh, and a little bit of conditioning in that soleus. It's the lower part of your, uh, your ca uh, uh, calf muscle. So you have balance when you get up on your toes to throw those knees. All right? So you're nice and balanced. All right, let's get on our sides. Let's get on the ground. We're gonna do side planks now. So what I wanna do, I just want you guys to go on your own. So you're gonna go for five. I'm gonna do this uh, for one minute, but on your own, you're gonna give me five pumps, right? You're gonna, uh, let's say five uh, hip raises. You're gonna pump your hips up five times. And then on your own, you're gonna hold it for a five count. All right, so you're all gonna go at different, uh, at different what's what I'm looking for, uh, tempos, which is fine. But I want you to do as many as you can, many times through this is for, for one minute, all right? So I'll demonstrate. From here, you're gonna start on the ground, right? You can put your feet however you want. You can either stack them, put one foot down, one foot up, uh, whatever's most comfortable, whatever keeps you as much as possible in a straight line. I don't wanna be like this. I don't wanna be you know, hunched over or sideways. I wanna be as much in a straight line as possible. So when I come up, I come up in a straight line, all right? So from here, I like to stack my feet. So you're gonna go one, two, you can put your hand up two, three, four, five, hold it, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Just like that, we're gonna do that for one minute. I'm gonna start you guys off in about 10 seconds, so get, get in your position, all right? And I'll give you the, one, uh, the, the 10 second starting point, all right? We're gonna do this in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, one minute from here. It's five raises and then a five count hold at the top. And again, count at your, own, at your own pace, but just alternate between that, all right? So your hips come up and down five times, and then you hold it for five seconds, all right? Good, you're already 20 seconds through. Good, and again, you could put your, your opposite hand, you know, one elbow's on the ground, put that opposite hand wherever it feels comfortable, on the ground, above your head, whatever helps, uh, uh, aids you or assists you in having the most proper form, uh, the most correct form you can. All right, that's what I'm most concerned with. Good, you got 20 seconds left from here. All right, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and time. Good. Now we're going to get on a stomach and we're going to do lazy supermans. That's hands behind your head, bringing your elbows together. And then we're going to turn that into push ups. So, what that looks like, all right, because again, a superman is ankles and wrists in the air like that. Lazy superman is here, or lounges. Some people call them lounge chairs, whatever. From here, one, bring your hands under your shoulders, push up. Then hands back behind your head. Two, Squeeze up. You want to squeeze your shoulder blades together and you bring your heels up off the ground. So you're squeezing your lower back and your butt muscles as well as uh, your trapezius muscles, all the muscles between the back of your shoulders. All right. So it's here, push up, here, push up, here, push up. Let's do that for one minute. All right. Same thing. We're going to do one minute of that. Then we're going to go to the other side for those plank, uh, those planks. Jessica, you can do it. I see that face like, what the hell is he doing? but I'm very, very confident in you, all right? Let's go, try to keep the stomach on the ground. Well, well you're, you're gonna keep the stomach on the ground the whole time, but really try to get your chest and your thighs, if you can, off the ground, all right? One minute, starting in three, two, and one. Here's your one minute, all right? So give me that lounge or that lounging Superman, elbows and uh, wrists in the air, and then bring that into a push-up. all right? So it's one, all right, Des, I'll do it again for you from here, one here, Push up. One, push up. All right. Good. 50 seconds to go. And the idea here is to keep the body moving, but work both sides, right? So work in the anterior side, which is the front of you, and then the posterior side, which is the back of you. Posterior chain, obviously, from, you know, your back down to your uh, ankles, to your heels. Anterior chain is basically from, you know, front of your shoulders all the way down to your toes. Good, keep it up. We're going tw uh, 20 seconds more from here, all right? 19, 
18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Now let's go to that other side, uh, that other side plank. So if you did your left hand before, now you're going to do your right hand or vice versa. All right. Arms down. Same thing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then back to it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right. Let's squeeze. Try to use put as much focus on your stomachs as you can and uh, less on your shoulders. All right. We're going one minute counting now. All right. One minute from here. Good. Nice work, Amy. Amy's looking good on the side. She's doing all the work in this little hallway we have. Tiny little hallway. She's a champ. Breathe, breathe. How you feel, Amy? She's dead. Okay, that's good. That's a good sign. I mean, she's killing it. Good. Andy, I can't see you, but I assume you're killing it on the ground there too. You just keep up that work, okay? We got about 30 seconds left. 30 seconds left on this side, all right? So we're going to go one more time onto our stomachs. We're going to double it up. I'll explain in, in 20 seconds. All right, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and time. Right back onto your stomach. This time, twice of everything, two of everything. All right, so it's 1, 2, 1, 2. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. All right, let's go. We're going to go one minute. Same thing. Clock's already ticking. Let's go. That was a very, very quiet clap. <laughs> it's already dark outside. Let's go. You, don't give me that look, Jess. You just keep moving. You're looking great. Keep it up. Come on. 45 seconds to go. You guys have been killing it this whole class. We saw it a couple minutes after the hour, so I know you might be looking at the time, but we still got a couple minutes left. We're gonna finish it up with some short combos. Adding more burpees in, because why not? Eight seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Very good. Back on those feet. Let's finish with these combinations. You guys look great. All right, there you are, Andy. Welcome back. All right, good. So we're gonna do two one-minute rounds, all right? Two one-minute rounds of uh, of, of uh, combinations followed by burpees. So you're gonna go give me a three-strike combination, burpee. Three-strike combination, burpee. Three-strike combination, burpee. Combination can be anything, all right? Double jab, knee, cross hook, uh, cross hook, uppercut, uh, push kick, knee, cross. I don't care what it is, but I want you to think in terms of doing three things: one, two, three, burpee. One, two. Three, burpee, all right? You're going to move like that over and over. Again, I, I don't, uh, I want you guys to give me a lot of volume, but you don't have to rush one thing to the next. I want a good combination. Give me a full burpee, get on your feet, bounce around a little bit, then go right back into it, all right? Three strikes and a burpee. We're going to start that in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Good, 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 good. Jessica, when you do those jumps, you look like you're launching into, launching into space. You have, such, you, have, you have ups. Very good. Looks like you're about to jump on mom's roof, mom and dad's roof. Nice. Good angles with those punches, Des. Very good. Everything was really crisp. Straight, right up the middle, right across the side. That's important when we throw these combinations. That's why one of the things I want you to think about as you're throwing them is that you're really uh, defining everything. The jabs should be very defined. The hooks should be very defined. The uppercuts. The straight kicks, every strike has its, is called it's what it's called because it's different from the strikes on either side of it, right? So a jab should look like a jab, a hook should look like a hook, uppercuts and hooks should look in, you know, should be distinguishable against each other, right? You got 15 seconds left, keep it up. So even when we're at, when at the end of a workout and we're tired, and we're doing these, uh, you know, maybe more of these conditioning flows, right? Adding burpees and everything into them, still make sure that you make every, uh, every combination, every technique very distinct. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Give me 10 jump squats. And then we're going to go into our second to last 
penultimate round, all right? Next round is going to be the same thing. So, again, just keep your ears open. Give me those jump squats. Next round is going to be the same thing. But you're going to give me five strikes, all right? One, two, three, four, five, and then a burpee, all right? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then a burpee. Five strikes. Give me a burpee. We're going to do that for one minute. We're going to start in 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Five strikes and a burpee. Five strikes and a burpee. Clock is ticking. All right, you got one minute. Good. And if you want to count a, a slip or a dip, some kind of evasive movement as one of your, one of your, uh, one of your strikes, one of your moves, that's fine too. It could be a jab, cross, check, cross, hook, kick, or a, I guess that would be jab, cross, check, cross, hook, and that would be five, right? So double jab, dip, uppercut, hook, right? Cross, hook, check, roundhouse, and then check on the way out. Again, you can use those defensive movements as part of your counting. All right, but make sure you give me five, five, you know, uh, let's say kickboxing style strikes, the kickboxing based strikes as part of your counting system as you're doing these. All right, and then you give me that burpee. Des, watch out that ball behind you. I don't want you to trip. It's making its way back to you now. All right, be careful. I got my eyes on you. Don't worry. I'm looking out for all of you guys. Jess, don't fall in the pool. I know it's closed, but you don't want to fall on that clock. Andy, I don't know what you got on the ground over there, but don't trip on any books or whatever you got on that, you know, <laughs> on that bookshelf behind you. 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Give me another 10 jump squats, and then we're going to go into our last thing, which is going to be our live combos, all right? Live combos, same thing. I'm going to call them out. You know, all you guys have, uh, I think, a good enough uh, amount of experience that I'm going to keep the uh, – that I'm going to keep – the pace up a little bit. I got to plug in my, my got to plug in my laptop before it dies on you guys. But once you're ready, just start shadow boxing. And you guys know what live combos are. We do this. You guys have all taken my class often enough. So I don't have to explain again. Just get ready to go. Once my computer is plugged in so it doesn't turn off, I'm going to get you guys started. Thought it was plugged in already. And all right, we're in business. We're in business. All right. Starting in five, four, get moving around in three, two, one. Let's go. Double jab. Double jab, cross. Jab, cross, hook, cross. Good. Uppercut, hook, cross. Good. Double jab, knee. Good. Be bouncing around in between two. Good. Jab, cross, dip, cross. Good. Push, kick, roundhouse. Good. Push, kick, knee, cross, uppercut. Good. Jab, uppercut, hook, straight kick. Good. Double jab. Double jab, slip. Double jab, slip again. Double jab, slip, hook, cross. Good. Jab, cross, hook, cross. Sprawl, elbow, elbow, knee when you come up. Good, double jab, elbow, switch knee. Jab, cross, jab, cross, straight kick. Jab, cross, jab, cross, switch knee, elbow. Good, double jab, cross. Jab, cross, slip, slip, roll, cross, hook. Good, jab, cross, nonstop. 15 seconds right here. Just keep it up. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Move those shoulders. Move those hips. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and time. Give me 10 burpees, and you guys are done. 10 burpees, you guys are done. We'll meet on the ground. Once you're done, get into a kneeling position. Ten full burpees, and then we're meeting together on the ground. Take a few deep breaths. We'll make wait till everybody gets there, and then we'll breathe. 
Good. All right, great work today, gang. Thank you. We're a small crew today, but uh, but a, a, a hustling crew. Well, uh, uh, a well earned break at the end of this class. You guys are great. Uh, let's do our mini meditation, our deep bow. As always, think of one thing you're grateful for. Think of one thing we did in class that you want to take with you. Uh, you know that you want to stick in your mind, and just going to meditate on those things for a few minutes, uh, for a few moments, down on the ground. Diamonds up, and then let's go deep bow right here. Deep breaths. Take one more deep breath. Exhale and come up. All right, gang. Great work as always. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, you know what to do. Find me on Instagram, shoot me a message or shoot me an email at uh, grillvinnytraining at gmail.com. From me, Amy, Giuseppe on the couch and Louis Gino. We hope you guys have a good night. Thank you so much. Take it easy. Take it. Thank you, man. Bye, Jess. Bye, man. Bye, Des. We'll see you soon.